we are now live. Bonjour, Tolemon. La vas diciens. Buenos dias a todos. Dobre dem brigen. Borjono a tutti. Guten tag, alle saints. Bon dia a todos. Ohio. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Dr. Joe here, live from Paris, right in front of the breathtaking Palais Gagné Opera House. Isn't that a gorgeous building behind me, folks? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not the only thing that's live. You know what else is live? <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that my newest book, from numbers to narratives that transform business is live today, May 6th. As you just heard, I've greeted you in like what? Eight or nine different languages, right? <laughs> and um, while our spoken languages may vary across the globe, uh, literally thousands of them, right? There, um, There's one language that truly transcends borders and connects us all. I, I, well, okay, okay, you know, I, I should say, Viva la France, I'm in French, I should say the language of love, and yeah, okay, it is, but no, no, in the context of my book here, yeah, well, I'm actually talking about the universal language of data. My book is all about mastering that universal language. You know, it's about taking raw numbers and transforming them into compelling stories that um, anyone, anywhere, anytime can understand and act upon. Now, speaking of compelling stories and um, universal appeal here, uh, you know, this magnificent building behind me, wow, uh, <laughs> I can't really, I can't believe I'm here in Paris, the Palais Garnier. You know, the building itself is uh, a masterpiece of architectural storytelling every curve every sculpture every gilded detail like the ones outside you know every performance even tells a story of artistry ambition and human creativity and that captured that creativity has captured audiences for centuries regardless of their native tongue now in much the same way from numbers to narratives is designed to help you Craft data stories that captivate your audience, drawing them in, and, well, making them eager to understand the insights that you're sharing. H how do I do that? Well, this book is structured to guide you through that very process in three key parts. Part one, leveraging beauty and brains for effective data storytelling. <laughs> uh, this section takes you on a journey from concept to reality using my five stages of the spectrum framework. From the initial concept of your data story to its powerful realization, you have to start the race, make your case, motivate the base, and give it some space before you can put it into place. <laughs> Part two, driving decisions with data, delight or disaster. In this part, we move from simply uh, looking at data to truly understanding it and using it to drive impactful insights and decisions guided by my easy to remember, hopefully easy to remember, look, link, listen, leverage, and learn, that framework. Or if you prefer the, um, the rhyming version, dominance, relevance, significance, surveillance, and vigilance. And um, finally, part three bringing data to life and life to data. This final part brings it all home, okay? It focuses on making your data stories resonate and endure using the four pillars of relevant data that spell the word life. That's legacy, integrity, fervency, and efficiency, L-I-F-E. So um, across all 14 chapters in my book, you are going to find actionable frameworks and practical study questions to, well, help you put all these concepts in practice. Hey, you know what? Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen, the day we've been waiting for. We wait, monsieur. You know, you can finally get your hands on this book today without having to wait. From numbers to narratives that transform business. 
and you can start unlocking the power of your data. As a special thank you, I'm offering my exclusive author discount code for a 25% savings off the retail price. You'll find that code um, along with the direct URL to, uh, to buy the book in the event description, in the captions, in various different places. You know, this is live, so we got to go with it. <laughs> you can also use the Q the QR code on the book cover image in the in the event description. But you know. I wanted to take a few minutes today to acknowledge the incredible data experts who were so kind and gracious to give me their enthusiastic written endorsements of my book. And all of them, um, you know, data leaders and experts in their own right, I already said that, but anyway, their write-ups have been published in print right here in the, uh, the preface section in both the printed and the electronic versions of from numbers to narratives. Uh, they are, I wrote it down, Chief Data Officer Arvin Morali, Head of Decision Science and AI, Kristen Kerr-Kerrer, Trusted Analytics Advisor and Managing Director Brian Booten, Scotland, Speaker and Senior Executive Business Analyst, Felicia Joyner, Author and Analytics Consultant, and data visualization expert, Nick Kelly, also known as Nicholas. He has data story cards and a book of his own. Business analysis expert and IIBA bluegrass chapter guru himself, Aaron Wittenberg. Data governance and uh, business intelligence director, George Paragon. Data governance expert and speaker, Nicola Ascom. I've been on her podcast, love it, and George's too. Founder and CEO of Driba. Um, Nagim Ashuta, CEO, Senior BA Instructor, and U.S. Marine Corps Veteran, Albert Bellamy. The um, data classification guru and fixer, fixer of dirty data herself, Susan Walsh, the one and only. Uh, data and tech executive and thought leader, Dora Busius. The um, author of Humanizing Data Strategy, musician extraordinaire, Tian Kai Feng. The data whisperer himself, Scott Taylor, the data puppet man. Data agile advisor and founder of Data is Life Consulting, Christelle Patriarca. CIO and entrepreneur, Terrence Sethayarman. Um, data and AI executive, Peggy Sai best-selling author, instructor, data engineer, and I love this, recovering data scientist, Joe Reese. And uh, last but not least, chief data officer, author, and writer of the foreword of this book right here, Malcolm Hawker. So, so while I'm still giving out kudos here, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the good folks at Pylog, the Pylog group, who sponsored my trip to Paris. So, Thank you so much, Dr. Iman Syed and his team for this wonderful opportunity. And also a word of thanks to Solutions Review, where I've written a, a number of articles, a lot of articles, regularly contributing to their thought leadership platform. Solutions Review, it's a tremendous platform with, um, uh, wow, well, uh, you know, a good number of phenomenal thought leaders and experts in data, analytics, AI, uh, data governance, you know, other technical related, data related concepts and topics and so forth. Uh, look them up when you get a chance, will you? Uh, it's a great platform. Anyway, thanks to the efforts of Tim King, Ryan Daly, and John Sauna. This event is also being hosted live on the Insight Jam YouTube channel. They've got more than 800,000 subscribers. So thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, you've been a great help. Furthermore, <laughs> I'm incredibly grateful to the Lord my God for his continued blessings on my life and um, for enabling me by his grace to bring this book to fruition. It was a lot of work <laughs> because, you know, in all reality, any success that you see in me at all in any way, whether it's my, my, my books, my keynotes, my articles, videos, podcasts, interviews, or anything else for that matter. Okay, it's only because of my Lord and Savior, 
granting me his favor. No other reason. <laughs> you know what? All the glory belongs to him and him alone. The only one who deserves the praise. And um, one more. One more. A special heartfelt thank you to my amazing, phenomenal, dear, sweet, wonderful wife, Diane. She's my soulmate, mother of my children, girl of my dreams, answer to my prayers, and pretty much everything. And in a practical set, sense, my trusty proofreader. <laughs> I'm serious. She proofs everything that I write. No kidding. Honey, 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 I miss you so, so much here in Paris. Isn't that crazy? I haven't even been gone for a day yet, and I miss her already. And let me tell you something. That's not just the jet lag, jet lag time talking. Yeah, I've been up for 27 hours straight. I didn't sleep on the plane, so I'm tired. But I really did mean it. Well, with that being said, I do hope you're watching, sweetheart. And if you're watching, I just want the whole world to know that I love you so much, and I'm so grateful to you for your help on this book. I thank God for you every day, darling. I so wish you were here with me. I'm sorry about that, folks. No, I'm not. You know, I had to do that. I don't care what anybody says. You know, I am not ashamed of my wife. And let me tell you something, folks. Besides the salvation of my very soul, I've said this before and I'll say it again. She is the best, greatest gift that God ever gave me besides that. And I wouldn't give a plug nickel for a husband that didn't feel that way about his wife. So, guys, do me a favor. Go home, hug your wife today. I can't hug my wife right now, but you can. Do it. You know, this woman's got to be something special. Poor Diana. Think about it. She's had to put up with me as her hubby for almost 41 years. Sheesh. Poor thing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I, I, I'm going to change the subject here. This is a book launch, not a Diana launch. You know, before I start crying or getting myself in trouble. You know, wh why am I here in Paris in the first place? Is it just for the book launch? Well, no, that's only part of it. Yeah, I mean, there's more There's more to it, to my visit than that. Because tomorrow morning, I have the incredible honor of delivering the opening keynote at the Lead Innovation Day conference right here in Paris at an educational center and, and or a business center. And while my topic that I'm talking about isn't directly related to my book, I'm talking about AI in my speech, when a tool is not a tool, AI gone cold. It's a fascinating subject. But anyway, um, you know, this is still in my wheelhouse in a general sense. I mean, the general uh, wheelhouse of technology. But for today, I just wanted to celebrate this book launch with all of you, my audience joining me this morning live or afternoon. Plus, it's the first time I've ever tried LinkedIn Live on my own for real. Yeah, live. All mistakes, wrinkles and everything are visible. Hope it all works. OK, look. As we come to a close this morning or afternoon, just as the Palais Gagné stands as a, a testament to the power of human vision and execution and <laughs> entertainment too for opera, you know, from numbers to narratives is your guide to bringing your data vision to life. Hey, don't wait any longer to start transforming your numbers into narratives that truly, truly resonate and drive change. Well, folks, I suppose there's nothing really left for me to say, but um, I'll be the same. Sayonara. Adios. Doj vidanya. Arrivederci. Nash vinaju. Adios. Bisugeru. And au revoir. Or, if you prefer English now, I'll just say... Dr. Joe signing out live from Paris. You saw it for yourself. I am so excited for you to embark on your data storytelling journey. Now, do me a favor. Go get my book, will you? <laughs> and um, have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>